Hello everyone, this is Jude and Sarah. Today we're going to make a compost using a biodynamic uh, compost starter and lots of other stuff. Let's have a look. Here's where it's going to be. The soil is hard packed clay so I'm not going to dig it out. We have our starter mix which is a mixture of um, manure and, <laughs> and nettles and all that good stuff. Dandelion. And we've got a barrel of ground up leaves. It's been very dry and it was the perfect time to uh, take the lawn mower over the lawn and uh, clear the leaves off and at the same time get some good compostable material. There's another bag of leaves. This is some almost finished compost in these bags. And some straw. Some straw soaked with uh, urine. And in here we have compost that is just partly finished. It's it's just been I've just been putting stuff in it a little at a time, so it's a, it's a cold compost. Um, let's get started. Yep, that's hard clay, all right. Good morning. It is now two days later and we're going to take a look at the finished, finished built compost. Here we go. I've covered it with a nice little roof of straw. That's to help keep moisture in and excessive rain out should we get some. And as an experiment I have a water barrel, rain barrel, filled with water. There's a hose coming out the bottom. It's coiled inside the compost. And I haven't got it circulating in there yet. I need to get the, this end below the water level. But um, when I lowered it and tested it this morning, first a little tiny bit of cold water came out. And then some warm water came out. So the compost is already heating up. And then as it 
drained out and the cold water from the barrel went in, it, it was a little bit uh, cooler. But um, even then it wasn't as cool as the barrel felt. So it's just an experiment to see how we can get hot water from a compost. I don't have any uses for it yet. But if we build a greenhouse around the whole thing, it would help keep it warm in the winter. You know, it could, there's lots of possibilities. Some people build them in the summers and, and build outdoor showers. That sounds like fun to me. Hi there, guys. You like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like that, don't you? You like that, don't you? You're in my power. Yep, you're in my power. Hey girl. Bye. All right, I have a thermometer here, but um, it's not registering the same temperature as the thermostat. It looks like it's about seven degrees too high. But let's keep that in mind when we, as we go and um, check out the compost. The compost is six days old. We're going to test the temperature now. We're going to put this thermometer, which is about seven degrees too high, but we're going to put it in there and figure out what the temperature is in the middle. Slows down at 120. Going very slowly. Stopped at about 125, and if this is 7 degrees too high, that gives us about 118 degrees in the middle of the compost. Let's check the temperature of the water coming out of the compost. Remember, it comes out of that bucket that barrel and goes through the compost. Put it back in. Okay, so it looks about 95 degrees, which puts it about 88 degrees water temperature.